Stay down off them horses. I don't favor looking up to the likes of you. Hey folks, we are in Arizona, we're in the desert, uh, we're in the foothills of the Walpi Mountains, uh, we are probably about an hour from the Grand Canyon, um, we're checking out uh, this place called Slaughterhouse Canyon, it has a lot of urban legend behind it, we'll get into that a little bit later, um, this is going to be a little bit different because this isn't big giant abandoned buildings, but it is abandoned, um, so, and it's really cool. Um, later, once it gets dark, we're going to go up into the mountains, a couple hours way up into the mountains up high, and we're going to check out this psychotic doctor's former home. Um, so, yeah, let's go have a look. So I'm not sure what the story is back here, um, but it looks like in like this weird part of um, <clears throat> Slaughterhouse Canyon area. Um, looks like a, people were living here at one point like in buses and shacks and a whole bunch of little cool structures. We're going to check them out. Um, went as far as we could, so this is the first little bus I see. Not much to like go in and like look around at, but it still looks pretty cool. So, cool. All right, yeah, there's a lot of trash here. Looks like there was a sign uh, on this whole thing that said uh, uh, no trespassing. Looks like it was boarded up at one time. Uh, it looks like this thing might have caught on fire. It's pretty rough shape but <laughs> that's a f old rv old camper that's totally freaking gutted like really it's totally gutted like there's no floor left looks like there may have been a fire some like cool paint things look at all the stars i don't know if you can see that yeah, and it kind of looks like people were living out here, so, so kind of cool. doing is we're just trying to get me to walk towards the camera there's a lot of shit in the way so hopefully it'll just be my silhouette we'll see how this works Where are you, Desert Bunny? There you are, Desert Bunny. I see you. Bye, Desert Bunny. The other locations we wanted to go for here. This old house in the middle of nowhere. Old trailer, which I don't think you can really see. Yeah, uh, trailer here that you can actually see. Really trashed. There's just all kinds of shit around here. But, but. I'm not gonna try to get into here. It's sealed up pretty good. Still just as trash. Yeah, lots of shit. Cut up bicycle frame. There's the rest of it. And all the windows are blocked out. You can't see inside of any of them. Sketchy ladder going through the roof there. 
Dude, I can totally see inside of here, can I? Oh yeah, I wonder if I can get this to work. Well, I don't know if you can see inside of there. <laughs> Sorry. And I noticed the back window was open, and uh, I fucking yelled, "The f are you looking at?" <laughs> it pops out there and starts yelling at me. <coughs> unfortunately, I stopped the. Uh, fortunately, I stopped the video, and he's trying to play it off like he's supposed to be there, you know. But uh, and he he is weird because he's like he's all pissy. I I apologize. And he's like, who put you up to this? He just kept saying, who put you up to this? <laughs> Firewood? Yeah. I'm not allowed to have any visitors inside the house, though. I didn't get that. I mean, you're going to visit me. You have to visit me down here at this, at this box. At the wood box. That box. That, that box. Yeah, the Dude, what's your name? Well, no, I don't know my name. I'm next door to homeless. Yeah, how old are you? 43. Oh, okay. I'm 47. You're 47. So you're a couple years older than me. Yeah. I'm, I farm corn that's like decorative corn. You know how it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the yellow and red and purple and... So I wasn't really paying attention to my camera looking at it and ended up shutting down. Uh, it wasn't that interesting anyways. He um, wouldn't let me. He was squatting the house. He wouldn't let me in. Um, check it out. He had some weird stories going on. But anyways, let's go on to the next place. This place looks pretty cool. I think we're coming up to the next uh, structure. Lots of tires, man. Seriously, reminds me of Ohio, except for they do it in the city. I hear they just come to the middle of the desert to dump all their shit. Alright, so we're coming up to this area where, I mean, it definitely looks like someone's living here. And, uh, seriously, I mean, there's a couple structures. It looks like there's pieces of what used to be a structure here. And lots of garbage. I mean... There's lots of random shit. Some sort of cage for some animals. And it looks like horse poop. But, I uh, see, I don't know what this was. This is kind of cool. It's all dug out. It's some kind of structure. But, kind of cool. I don't know. There's a really ripped out van there. Yeah, this thing's totally beat up and gutted. It's still a steering wheel, though. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely looks like someone was living here. There's this whole uh, structure here. Looks like people have been partying here since. There's a fucking weird cave right up there. Can you see that? I don't think I want to go there. Check out the cave. Yeah. Probably where the creature just tried to eat me was. Where are you, Desert Bunny? There you are, Desert Bunny. I see you. Look, it looks like there's been a little bit of partying going on. Or maybe I'm just... There's a lot of freaking coolers, man. There's a cooler. Another cooler. Part of a cooler. A cooler. A cooler. Another animal cage. Oh, you can see that structure. Other more coolers, but I don't know if you can tell. Looks like this structure went on and on for a bit. So not a whole lot to see, but it's, it's still kind of interesting. This stuff is just out here in this structure. A bird yelling at me. I mean, Jesus. I mean, there's so much garbage, too. It's pretty insane. Hey, I found some cool balancing rocks. 
don't know if you can see that or how good my zoom is going to be. It's kind of far away. I'm not climbing up to them. All right, so I'm obsessed with the balancing rock. I'm going to try to figure out how to traverse the desert the cactus. Probably a bad idea. I definitely wouldn't do this in summer because of snakes and scorpions. And do they come out in the winter? Because I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, another cactus. Not going to get any sticker. Hey, cactus. Someone just stung me. We have vodka. Want to see? Look. There has to be an easier way without these things everywhere. So where I'm going to step on cactus. Oh god, that's a cool shot. You know what I hate about the desert? Everything was kind of poke you. Like, look at this shit. Like, this kind of shit wants to poke you. Ow! What did I just say? Okay. Bouncing rock. It's over there. We got lots of cactus to go through. I think I can poke the shit out of it. I don't know if you can see. There's a city way over there. Two cactus. There's nothing but cactus out here, I swear to God. It's like a property line. That's interesting. So who the f property am I on or who the f property am I going to? We're gonna go down here. We're gonna go under. Try not to die. Or cut ourselves. That's fine. Going to the balancing rock. So I don't know whose property I'm on. Hopefully BLM or something. This terrain kind of sucks. Alright, more cactus. Everything is thorny. See? Those things have stickers. That has stickers. That has stickers. That has stickers. Everything. Ew, you even have big thorns. My god, can I get to the balancing rock without getting stuck a hundred times? I mean, not stuck as in stopped, but stuck as in and poach. So as far away as it looks, but god, there's a lot of cactus and pokey things. I don't know. Look around. It's kind of beautiful out here. I wouldn't live here. I'll tell you that. Jack is right next to me. That's a rock. Let's see what happens up here. Let's see what we can see. I hate cactus. I swear to God, people want to keep them as pets. We'll climb up on these rocks. Alright, climbed up through there. So, but look, check out the balancing rock. It's definitely like not attached. It's just kind of sitting there waiting to fall. Hopefully I don't give it the vibration it needs to fall because it's sitting there, right there. It's touching there. It's touching there, but that's a separate rock. Let's climb over. I mean this thing really isn't attached anywhere. Just sitting up here. I bet you if I put enough weight on I can tip it over towards me. And that would suck. Alright, so we're starting to lose daylight, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you about this urban legend about this place. This place not only is known as Slaughterhouse Canyon, it's known as Luann's Canyon. Now the story is, back in the pioneer days, back when they're first settling this area, what, 1800s or something, this family moved out here, they had two very young kids. Uh, the husband would go out every month and get supplies and food. Uh, one month he never came back. Everybody was going pretty hungry. The kids were starving and near death. Luann put on her wedding dress, chopped the children up, dumped them in a nearby creek, and sat by the creek 
and wailed and moaned herself until she died of starvation. The creepy uh, urban legend is, is in the evening, you can still hear her wails through the canyon walls. What I find more interesting is that town I showed you earlier, when they were building the high school and excavating to put the football field in, they found human remains. They brought archaeologists and all these people in, and they determined that this was an Indian burial site. Instead of leaving it alone, they decided to dig up all the bones and move them somewhere else. This whole area we're going through is probably all Indian burial site. So, this next little area, not much to see here. Uh, it looks like there was a house or a building or something. Foundation's still left. Yeah, it looks like, uh, you kind of see like, I think it looks like there's like some sort of ranch kind of style fence. And there's definitely a foundation here. So there's definitely a building. <laughs> looks like there might actually be water. This looks like it held some sort of animals, I'm guessing. Oh, indeed, it's still full of water. So, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, you can definitely tell now this is animals. And not a whole lot back here. So whatever this was, definitely gone by a house and like a little like field for animals, but it's totally gone. No telling how old that shit is. Hmm. There's a power pole. No power going to it though. As if that is at all interesting. So here's the remains of yet another camp. There's nothing left of this one. I don't know if you can see. It used to be some sort of trailer. But definitely suffered fire damage. And you can see remnants of the camp around it. It was definitely a trailer here. I mean, it's too dark to see anything. But I feel like I should have the camera running at all times. Because, just because it's too dark to see anything. And this is creepy as all shit. We're going up into the mountains now, and it's, it's really dark, and uh, this place, this next place is the doctor's house, uh, and supposedly there's some doctor who practiced in this house who killed his wife, and this is why it's empty. I don't think it, yeah, the trail keeps, trail clears up of, up here. That's a house. That doctor's house? This is it, yeah, this is it. That's, a, that's the same as a, it's the same as in the YouTube video. Get right in right here. I'm going. Stinks. Dot matrix printers. Lots of insulation hanging. Yeah, it's a good. There's definitely a stove. I guess it's better when you have a story behind it. You have all this shit blocking it to climb over this to get in further. I'm farting. I think there's more story than truth to this. Like, looking at the age of some of the stuff in, I'm seeing inside, there's more story than truth. It looks like the floors are falling out, so be careful. It's okay, it's just going through the foundation. Don't touch the bed. Squeak your bed. Yeah, the floor is gone. Nice fireplace. Out of paper. <laughs> With no pages on it. It's not that spooky, it's supposed to be haunted, right? That's what they say. Yeah, of course. The bathroom. What's it say? 
you let you, you let her die. Let her die. That's right. This is the place. And we found it. Someone's like totally like been working this place over with all that. Laundry room, let me see it. Okay. Dude, that washer's still good. Just clean it up and I think we're good. These things don't break. I'm not kidding you. Let's see if there's any laundry in it. What do you think? Is there any laundry in it? Open it up. I'm going to. Oddly, it's completely empty aside from cobwebs. Would you think someone would shove something gross into there by now? Like... Yeah, no, it's good. It's really good. I'm actually having fun. What are we looking at right here? What this is looks this? looks like a trailer or a shed. That's it's like shed. collapsed or what? I'm gonna go over towards it. I don't think it's a trailer. Oh, Jesus. This is a wee bit creepy over here. That just looks weird. Spiders. It's pretty trashed. Yeah. I think that is a generator. Let's make sure we got that. Well, it's just kind of weird because who would have this, you know? Uh, there's a boat. It's a big, big ass boat that just be a bad one, too. And it's not actually in bad shape, is it? No. I mean, it really doesn't look like it's in See what look I'm gonna I'm gonna climb into it and see what it looks like inside. This can't be a good idea. Why do I feel like this is the most unsafe thing I've done today? Um Wow. No, it's totally sealed on the top. Yep, at the end. So can I walk across this yeah. or am I gonna fall through? Well, I guess if I fall through, I'm only gonna fall over me. I mean, it's not gonna fall over. Well, I mean, how far will I fall if this gets out? Like people do it. No, there's no footprints on here, by the way. Okay, it feels stable. This is a terrible idea. Safety first. Safety first. It rocks a little bit. Some mess down here. It's an, it's gutted and it's a mess. That's really far down. It's a far fall. If I were to fall. Look at all the water up here. Jesus. Huh? It's not safe. This is not safe. Who says I do safe things? That's not safe. And there's not much to see anyways. The Southwest is full of lore and urban legend, but the desert is a harsh place, leaving many places to inherit the wasteland. If you want to learn more about the history of this place, including photo galleries, documents, and everything else, visit the episode page at itw.crustlandia.com.